Hi guys, welcome back to The Whiskey Room. I'm Brian Sakawa here again with Chris Sarangoulis, and today we are tasting Jack Daniels Old Number no. 7 Tennessee Whiskey. So Jack Daniels has a little bit of a stigma to it, I would say. It's, you know, your rock star whiskey. It's the whiskey that the bikers drink. It's the whiskey that you mix with Coke. But recently, Chris and I have had uh, not necessarily a change of heart, but we've had a new appreciation for Jack Daniels, and I think that started with your trip to the Jack Daniels distillery. That's right. I got to go tour the distillery in Lynchburg, Tennessee. I had a fantastic time. It's a great distillery. Now, Jack Daniels is actually the world's highest selling American whiskey. And when you hear that, you might think it comes from some mega large industrial plant somewhere, but that's not the case. You can go tour the distillery, and it's the original distillery. It's over 100 years old, and you can see the safe that Jack Daniels himself kicked gave him a toe infection, which eventually led to his death. Jack Daniels is a lower proof whiskey. We're at 80 proof, so it's an easy sipper. And to me, Jack Daniels has a characteristic flavor quality to it. We're talking uh, very pr predominant vanilla with some backgrounds of cocoa. And you can also taste some of the uh, sugar maple charcoal filtering that they do, which also gives a nice little mellow, mellowing to the flavor. The, the charcoal filtering definitely helps mellow the whiskey out. As you say, it's a very easy sipping whiskey. I always get a little bit of a sour note when I first taste it. And then, um, very smooth, but every so often at the very end, after a sip, I get a little bit of a peanut butter flavor. I don't know if, if everyone tastes that. So it's Jack Daniels Old Number no. 7. I've always wondered what Old Number no. 7 means, um, and I don't think anyone really knows what it means. Well, I was on the tour. I asked the tour guide. They actually don't know. It could be a lost recipe. It could be the seventh mash bill that they've tried when they came up with the uh, Jack Daniels. They're not sure. So if you're at a bar mm -hmm. and you know they don't have the best selection, hotel lobby, hotel lobby bar, Jack Daniels is actually one of the best whiskeys that you could pick. So there you have it guys, that's the Jack Daniels Old Number no. 7 Tennessee Whiskey. If you happen to have any preconceived notions about this whiskey, we would invite you to actually give it a try and uh, let us know what you think.